Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning Videos. In the previous video, we had seen 4-bit adder. So in this video, we are going to solve one Boolean expression that is 4 variable Boolean expression. So this is the question, solve 4 variable Boolean expression. Before starting this video, if you really like the content of this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give the thumbs up. And if you like the content, you can also share this video with your friends. So let us start. So this is our Boolean expression. It states that AB plus ABC plus A bar B plus A B bar C. So this is our Boolean expression. We need to reduce it to minimum number of literals. So here, as we can see in these two expression, AB is common. If we take out AB out, so it remains as 1 plus C, AB into 1 plus C. So we know that AB into 1 plus C, it is nothing but 1. And AB into 1, it is nothing but AB. So this expression, we have reduced it to AB. So now we are left with A bar B plus AB bar C. So in this, if you observe, uh, in this 2, we can take B common. If once we take B common, we will get A plus A bar. And A plus A bar is nothing but 1. Once again, 1. So 1 into B turns out to B. Plus we have A B bar C. B plus A B bar C. Now we know that A plus A bar B, this turns out to be A plus B. So in this case, B plus B bar A C turns out to be B plus A C. So this is our expression that is B plus A C. For four variable Boolean expression, we have got B plus A C. Let us realize this using multisim. So this is my multisim playground. So we have three inputs that is B, A, C. So let us take one function, three function generator. So I have taken one. Let us take two more. Yes. So now we have taken function generator. Let us configure this for a square wave for 100 hertz of frequency. Let us configure the second one square wave for 125 hertz of frequency. Let us configure the third one a square wave for 150 hertz of frequency. Okay. So now, so this is A, this is B, and this is C. So three inputs we have got. So as the expression states, it is B plus AC. So first we will realize AC, then we will OR with B. So we want AND gate first. So let us find the AND gate. Yes. So 7409N is the 2-bit Sorry, two, two input and get I click on OK. I'll place it over here. Next, we need one OR gate. Let us find the OR gate. So 7432N is the OR gate. So I'll click on OK and I'll place it here. So now I'll close this. AC we want. We will connect this to first terminal. We will connect positive to next terminal. So the output of this gate it is A dot C. So we will give this to A dot C to one input of OR gate. Now this is B. This is the output of this will be B plus AC. We will take one function generator. Sorry, we will take one oscilloscope. We will place over here. We will delete this. Now we need to connect all the negatives to ground. We will go with TTD, TTL. Next, we will click on sources. Next, power source. Sorry. And I want ground. So click on ground, OK. I'll place it over here. 
I'll delete this. I don't need this. I'll click on ground. I'll I connect all the negative terminals to it. Negative terminal of A also I'll connect to ground. Negative terminal of B also I'll connect to ground. Output I'll connect to A. Okay, output I have connected to A. So negative connection for B was not necessary. So let us run this and let us check. Yes, it's running perfectly fine. Let us check this. So this is your output of this gate. Output of your last gate. That is OR gate. So this is A plus, sorry, B plus AC. This is the realization of this expression AB plus ABC plus A bar B plus AB bar C. So from this big large equation, we have reduced it to only two literals that is B plus AC. So I hope uh, you guys have understood how to draw the, how to realize the logic gates in multisync. If you like the contents, please subscribe to my channel. Let us meet in next video guys. Thanks for watching.